Okay, cool. So which funnels do we need? Do we need, um, it's up to you. And what are you going to be focused on? Listings, buyers, or? or yeah, sellers? I'm going to be, I'm going to be focused on trying to get listings. Perfect. So do you, do you kind of follow my whole, um, like giving away a seller guide to capture yes. leads? Okay. I want to do that. I actually, I, I was going to ask you about that because I, I know I need to get, get that thing and then, um, go to Fiverr or something and get it like re. Yeah. Like, or something. yeah, you can easily do that. Like you could spend like 10 bucks on, on Fiverr and just, have that person add your contact information, your headshot, and just completely like rebrand it to you. Um, and I have a ton of different seller guides that, that I can send your way and you can just grab one, send it to the fiber person and say, Hey, here's their contact information. I need you to replace it with mine. Yeah. They'll, they'll put it together for like, yeah, a few bucks. Okay. So that's what I would do for sure. And then, and then, and then from that point on, everything on social media evolves around that seller guide and that link whatever link, whatever on all these different platforms. So Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, whatever, any of these platforms in the website field, like for example, if I just go to, let's just say randomly Twitter, like what you'll want to do is you'll want to get one domain for these Karcher pages. So like, for example, it could be Scott's seller guide.com or something like that. Like you have your, you have your username right? For all your social platforms. Now maybe get that user. What's your username again? What did you change it to? Your purpose realtor. Perfect. Your purpose realtor seller guide.com. Like if anything, like something like that, you know, an example, gotcha. but I would, I would go and get that domain. And then, and then, and then that's the domain that, that, that you tie to your Karcher page, which is the landing page, which will be the first page. Um, like this, for example. So if I have this seller guide, like here's my seller guide page. This is the home page. This is the landing page. So, so your purpose realtor seller guide.com would come here, for example, and okay. that link, that seller guide link. So rather than having your .com that you currently have that you use to match everything, get the .com for a seller guide. And that's the link you want to put everywhere. So now on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my Twitter, whatever, that domain will lead people to my seller guide. That's the only thing that should be online. So we don't need anything going to a KB core page or anything going to an overall website. That's what every agent has. Every agent on their social media will have the .com to their website. It's like, no, that website doesn't do anything for me. I need yeah. to direct all traffic. I need to direct all attention to my landing page where I give away my seller guide. Okay. So, so that's why on mine, for example, on all of my platforms, whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, on every platform, what I'm doing is in the website field, I simply just lead everybody to my YouTube channel because that's what I'm doing. I'm building a YouTube channel. So if you click on this TV, this dot TV, it takes you straight to my YouTube channel. So yep. you won't find any link on social media that takes you anywhere else. So now in your case, your entire online presence is going to evolve around your seller guide. That's, that's what it's all about is driving all attention to that. So here's what I'll do real quick. I'm going to share it with you. Um, and then you'll see it in your, um, in your account. So what is your, what's your username for your login for Kartra? Oh, um, uh, my email. Is it the email or is it, or did you choose a different username? Yeah, it could be your email. What's your email? My, yeah, Scott.Myers. at exprealty.com. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's the email you use to log in to Kartra? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to share it and you should receive an email. Um, but then also if you just look at your, so now let me have you, I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing on my end and just go ahead and um, go ahead and share your screen. Okay. Because it should, you, I, I'm pretty sure you receive an email notification, but then also it should already be in your account. So let's just, um, let's log into your account and, and let's just, so go ahead and refresh this page, go ahead and refresh it. And then what you'll do is you'll click on, yeah, perfect. So there's the, the red circle. So click on my campaigns. And then, um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on available campaigns right there. And there's the seller guide. So go ahead and click the three dots Yep. and you're going to, um, accept. Yep. Perfect. And then what you're going to do 
is you're going to, okay, so it's imported. So go ahead and click close and then you're going to deploy it. Perfect. So it says it right there. You'll just click on the three dots again and click on deploy. Perfect. Okay. Cool. And then you'll just give it a prefix. Like you can always delete that prefix, but it's just like a, a, a like an, like an initial or a few letters just to, um, yeah, you can always delete it. Okay. Yeah. So hit import. Yeah, the green one. Keep having to move this little. Oh yeah, yeah. You could drag that thing out the way. Perfect. So what, what I sent over with this? There's 21 assets in that in that in that funnel, and and each asset is each individual little part of it. So one asset is the landing page. Another asset is the thank you page. Another asset could be the calendar. Another asset can be the email list. So there's just all these things in it, which I'll explain. So you can X out of this part right here. So now if you click on, and we'll just start from the top. If you click on my, to the left. Now, if you click on my communications, what you now have is the list. So we'll just start with the basics. Like as people come into, click on list at the top, as people come into that landing page and they enter their name and email, they're now put on this list. So that would be the seller guide leads. That's your list. Now, again, you can, you can hit that pencil to the right and you can always edit it. You can name it whatever you want. You could take away initial. So now you can, you can delete that part initial because it, gotcha. it doesn't even make sense. But, but these are your list. So you have two lists. I sent over the list where they'll land on when they fill out the form. And then that thank you for downloading my seven tips. You can delete that as well. Why don't you, okay. yeah, you can do that now. Let's, let's get in the habit of just, I'll walk you through everything. So this is the public description. All that is, is, is what, is what that email, what that lead sees if they were to ever go and unsubscribe. So like, I don't know if you ever notice it, but if you get junk mail and you go and unsubscribe from it, the email, it'll let you know what that email, where, where it came from. And it'll try to remind you of what list you were on. So this right here, I'll just, I'll just put something like, thank you for downloading my seller guide. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So you can hit edit. So again, when they go to your landing page, they go to opt in, they go to download it. That's the list to land on the first, the top list buyer or seller appointments. That's the list they land on when they go and schedule an appointment. Okay. And so I use that calendar for everything. This is not just your, your list for just seller guides. This is for anything like what I try to do is I try to use my one calendar for everything. Like with you, that's what you're actually, no, you, you, I don't know what's wrong with your email, but for some reason my calendar doesn't like it, whatever, but, but that's the calendar I use to schedule all my appointments is, is my calendar and whoever schedules an appointment, they land on a list and you'll want, and, and the, the reason why that's so important is because people who schedule an appointment, that's one type of person. And you can have multiple lists. You can have a list of people who scheduled your appointment, an appointment for a listing. You can have a list of those who scheduled an appointment for, um, for buying, whatever you can, you can make as many lists as you want, but in this case, it's just a general list. Um, and that's, that's that list right there. So that's one asset. And then if you hover over communications at the top, hover over communication. I've got to move. Hang on a second. I got to okay, move no downstairs worries. to get my charger. Oh, no this worries. Laptop is is dying on me already this battery is it's like you may have to replace this lot this laptop yeah no battery. worries sorry give me just a second i'm almost there i don't want to i don't want to lose power and yeah no worries everything. so okay. ever over what now okay so right so so here's the thing we have we have list Yes. Everyone that goes to a landing page and enters their name and email, they're on a list. Okay. So that's one. And then, yep. and then hover over communications and you'll see sequences. Sequences is your drip system. That's your email autoresponder. So what I did here is I simply, you'll, you'll go in and edit the emails, but I simply set up a template um, that you can kind of follow and, and go through. So click okay. on edit right there, go ahead and erase initial and, and this is your seller guide leads. So anyone who opts into that landing page is on a list and that list is tied to a sequence. Now, not every list needs to be tied to a sequence, but that's how you kind of want to set it up. 
because as a person opts in, it could be anything. They're, they, they see your Facebook ad on a listing, they click learn more, they go to your landing page, they opt in, and now they're on a list, but there's a handful of emails that they better be receiving after that. That's the sequence. So yeah. I look at it where no matter what you're promoting, a listing, an open house, looking for a buyer, looking for a seller, whatever, if they opt into a, to a page and they're on a list, they should be receiving an, a handful of emails after that. And that's, that's your sequence. So click start tutorial and just go through um, the, the steps there. And you can read all this later. I'm going to give you just a crash course right now, but this is just walking you through exactly how, how to set it up and what, what's everything to the left, but keep this this way. And, and because at the end of this next, 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 at, at the end, you'll be able to check a box and not see it again, but don't, okay. don't check it yet. Later on, go back through and just read each one for sure. Okay. Like right here. Yeah. On the next page, you'll be able to see, don't show again. Like, don't do that. Do that later. Oh. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that one. Don't do that. Yeah. Because I want you to actually read it later. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. gotcha. So, so right here. So this is your drip system. So yeah. I set up the template there, which you could just go in and, and now edit each one. But this is powerful because this is how we nurture that list. So, so this is how we just automate the entire conversation. And in each email, the objective is to, is to like, for example, immediately after that first one, the moment they opt in and download your seller guide, they're going to get that first email right away. In that first email should be a link to download your seller guide. Two days later, two days later, they'll receive another email. Hey, John, this is Scott. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide a couple of days ago. Do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of curb appeal and making sure that your landscaping is really looking good for, for you to go and, and, and make sure you list that property and get the highest price possible? Here's what I meant by it. So the whole objective through these emails is to just educate them a little bit more about that seller guide, whatever the heck they opted in for. In this case, it's the seller guide. If it was a listing, I would have a handful of emails set up talking about that listing, right? So whatever it may be, those emails are, design, are designed to educate them a little bit more on what they opted in for, but most importantly, a call to action to get them to schedule a call. And in each email, we're going to have our calendar link. That's where the Karcher calendar comes in, 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 in handy. Because in each email, hey, John, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call and really strategize on how we can help or how I can help you position your property for the best price possible, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Yeah. So in each email, I want to try to get them to schedule a call. Like that's the bottom line. I need someone on the phone at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. So these emails, you can set up as many as you want. But in this case, I just set up, I don't know, five, six of them. Um, but they do need to be edited. Um, and so that's the sequence. That's the sequence. Um, let me show you how to, how to go into each one. Go to the very, very top. And it, and it starts with a starting rule. Click on that starting rule. Well, uh, yeah, edit. Hit edit. So all we're telling the system here is anyone who fills out that form. And it could be anything. Anybody who, 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 who's added to the list, the seller guide list, anyone who's added to the list, or it could be, yeah, it's either going to be list, list or forms for you, but leave it on opt-in form. Opt-in form is fine. So anyone who, who, who fills out that form starts to receive these emails. Okay. That's the starting rule. Okay. So go ahead and click save and we'll take away the initial in the form. We'll, we'll delete that part in the form, but, but this is, so, so that's the starting rule. Anyone who fills out that seller guide form receives these emails. Okay. The list is one thing. Those leads just live on the list. That's one thing, but they need to be nurtured through this sequence. That's these emails. So if you click on the three dots, let me walk you through how to edit the emails. So you, you notice here it says email number one, and then the second one down low, it says open house email number yes. two. So that yes. right there, let's click edit. That is what you'll want. The one or the second one? No, the first one, the first one. Go ahead and just okay. click on the dots, click on edit. But that title the email number one that could be changed right there in communications and you'll want to, you'll want to change it because you want to be able to look at the template. You want to be able to look at it from, from the view that we're looking at it right now and, and, and be able to read this, read, read this name of the broadcast. That way you don't have to click into each email and see, Hey, what was email number four about again? Right? So, so that's why watch, click on, click on the X real quick, X out of this real quick. 
if you scroll down, you'll see email number one. You see open houses email number two. You have pricing your home email number three, negotiation. See, so when you can name it, you'll know exactly what that email is or what it pertains yeah. to. And that's, that's super important. And, and if you want to add more emails, then you can always add more. You can always add more, but a handful is, is kind of the most important. And let's say, for example, someone opts in. Right away, immediately, they get email number one. And then two days later, they get open houses email number two. And then two days later, and you can set that however you want. You can go one out every day. You can go out one every two days. You can set it up however you wish. But, but my point is, is that once they go to the very bottom, once that lead reaches the very bottom, so scroll to the very last one, which is that why choose KW, once they reach there, again, we can, we can add way more. But once they, add, once they get to the end and it's complete, then what you'll do is you can always, that list will always be there. Now that lead already finished the end of the sequence, so they're not receiving emails from you anymore, yeah. but the list still lives on. And in the future, you'll always be able to send an email to that list through a broadcast, which I'll show you that. So okay. the whole purpose of a handful of emails is just to, is just to nurture that relationship and try to build something quick. And, and most importantly, try to, get, try to get people to schedule a call because there's going to be a link in that email with my calendar. And, and this just allows you to leverage your time because uh, uh, like in your case, 45 days, you'll be at work. If you can run ads and get people to receive your emails and get people to schedule a call while you're working, that's leverage. That's leverage. You want these people receiving emails from you, building a relationship with you, seeing these emails come through while you're doing other things. That's automation. That's leverage. So these emails are super important. Um, and you'll want to, you'll want to go in there and just edit, type them out in your own words gotcha. and, 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 and keep it simple. But yeah, hit, hit the three dots. Um, let's, let's go to email number one, hit okay. the three dots and then, um, edit. And so this will bring you into the actual dashboard of that specific email. And in yep. here, this is where you can change the delay. So in this case, I have it set up right after previous step. What's the previous step? The previous step is they opted in. That's the start and rule for this first email. The previous step was when they opted in. So right when they opt in, immediately they're gonna receive this first email. This first email will have a link for the seller guide. Hey John, this is Scott, just wanted to follow up. Hey man, or not even follow up, or let me start all over. Here's how this first email would go. Hey John, this is Scott, thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're gonna learn this, this, and this, and this. I'm super excited to be in touch with you. Click the link below and you can download your free PDF right away. And by the way, John, make sure to check out for my emails in the future because I have a lot of great content coming up regarding selling your property. Have a great day. Click the link below and you'll be able to download your guide now. That's somewhat of the first email. Um, and then two days later, another email is going to go out. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a couple of days ago you downloaded my free 2020 seller guide. And, in, and, and, and also, X out of this real quick, go back to the, to the actual, all of them. What I would do in email number two, three, four, and on, each email is simply referring to a page in the seller guide. Right. So by the time I'm, I'm on email number two, I'm talking about the seller guide. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, a couple of days ago, you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. And what I would do is I would just put a couple, you know, a couple lines in there. But again, 1,000%, the most important is the call to action. In each email, just like in your videos, as you really start to roll out videos, Facebook video ads, the call to action, as I mentioned, if you remember, at the end of each video, the call to action is to click learn more. Click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free seller guide. Like, right, that's what I wanna be saying in each video at the end. But in my emails, the call to action is to click the, click the link to schedule your call. That's not a call to action that I put in my email signature. That's not a call to action that I'm going to put in the PS. That's a call to action I'm going to put in the freaking middle of the damn paragraph of my email. Like, hey, John, and by the way, man, if you'd like to jump on a call where I give you all of my secret strategies, click the link. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And just build that calendar as we go and set up your actual calendar. Build those hours around your work life. So it only gives people the ability to schedule a call after hours. You know what I mean? Right. Or right. on the weekend or whenever you're free or whatever. Yep. So 
So that's what you want. Rather than having people reply or rather than people calling you, like I wouldn't even put your phone number in the emails. I don't want anyone calling me. Click the link, schedule a call, and, right. and I can't wait to talk to you. Because again, with you having a busy schedule with your other work life, you can't just have people call you anytime, right? There needs to be a scheduled call. So, right. so I would you know, work that calendar around, around your life, obviously. Where so, is the calendar? Is it in... Is it in here? Oh yeah, not not in here, but it's in the dashboard. We'll get to the calendar for sure. Okay. But but let's open up an email real quick. So go back to the first one, email number one, click the three dots, click on edit, and then let's open up an actual email. Let me show you where you'll be editing. And that's what I'm gonna do too, man. I'm gonna actually do that this week. So if anything, I may send you an updated sequence. I can share it just like I share the entire funnel, but I can share just the sequence. Because what I want to do is I want to, I want to make sure that I help you with this part too. Like I want to put together, you have your own verbiage, right? But I can at least yeah. put together a template of a handful of emails of what to say. Sure. But um, so, so in here, right there, custom marketing plan, email number one, right? You'll want to, you'll want to, the communications at the top, you'll want to obviously, you know, edit that part. Go oh, back, yeah. just hit back, hit back. Or yeah, you could just hit Oh, back. hang on. All right. I'll, I'll get there. Hang on. So you're saying edit the title. Yeah, you can, you can edit that one. You know, that, that could be, and you'll think about what to really name it later, but um, that's where it would start. Like, yeah, perfect. So that's the first, that's the first email that goes out. That's the thank you. You know, that will have a link to download your seller guide and that's that email. So email number two, would, you'll title it something different. And that's not the subject line. It could be the subject line of the actual email, but that communication, that email number one, SG, thank you. That's kind of just internal. Only you see that part. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to, again, just so you can have a, you know, an idea of what that email pertains to. Right. But if you scroll down, um, recipients, you can leave that, you can leave that at none right now because everything is based on the starting rule. If they fill out this form, they're receiving these emails. Bottom line. Okay. So I'll leave that there. And then the only other one you'll focus on is, is the actual um, email content. So go ahead and content. click on that one. And, and this is the actual email. So in here, this is just a template, but in here, what you can do is if you, like if you scroll to the very top, like go up a little bit, you can go basic view. So if you take that little toggle button or whatever you call it and, and shift it from advanced to basic, Okay. Basic is just basic text. So in here, okay. you can just write basic text. Um, what I like to do, what I like to do is, is go advanced and at least, at least make my email. And it's in, and, and what I'm pertaining to is the actual template. Like this is a template. You have the headline, you have a sub headline, you have the body of the text. And then if you scroll down, you have an image. And then yep. if you scroll down, you have a button and then you have the social media icons. That's a template. So yep. what I do is I'll normally, and this is email number one, I'll just deck out this template. And, and the way you can do it is if you click on design templates. So again, we're in the advanced mode. So you want to be in advanced mode to, to, to do any of this because now, yep. you, now we can decorate it a little bit. So you can click on my templates. Click on, actually, no, click on full templates. Click on full templates at the top. And Kartra gives you all these templates that are already done for you. You can just click, drag it over, and then just edit whatever you want. You can delete the image. You can change the color. You can, you can change anything, but, but it's a template. You can either do that or you can build your own. Okay. And so when it comes to emails, I try to keep it. A lot of those templates are just too fancy. And, and, and with email, you, you don't want to be fancy. In email, you want that email yeah. coming to that that lead as if it's an email from their friend. Like those are the most powerful open rate engaged emails are the emails that do not look corporate. The emails that do not look like an advertisement. You know what I mean? These are just yeah, too damn fancy right. to me. I got you. You know what I mean? So, so that's why with her, this is Becky right here. My friend Becky, she just created a simple template. Um, and so image, text, headline, and, and then a button below. And that button below is, is, is where she's taking you to another Karcher page where, okay, here, I don't want to confuse you, but here's, here's the whole strategy with this. Okay. Email number one goes out. That person reads the email. They click the red button below, and then they're taken to a video where she's explaining 
what she said in the email. So rather than just sending emails of just a bunch of texts, she's sending emails of her in a video explaining that. Okay. Right. So, so, so again, let's say for example, email number, email number, email number one goes out and, 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 and you're, typing right here. Hey, John, thank you for downloading my seller guide, you know, in the seller guide, blah, 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 and click the link. You'll be able to download your, your, your free PDF right now. I can say that in, in, I can write that in text or I could say that in a 30 second video. And so when you click on that red button, that's her strategy. That was her strategy. And that's what I highly recommend you make them click. We'll take them to another Karcher page where it's you on video giving that tip. And that's a simple 30 second, man, that you can do on your cell phone. Like, like, and, and so as your emails go out, email number two, email number three, email number four, each one is a video of Scott explaining that email, not just your text. Now you don't have to do it that way, but video is powerful. And if I can see Scott in video from the Facebook ad, then I'm opting into his landing page to download his seller guide. Then he takes me to a thank you page where it's him on video, which I'll explain. We'll get to that part once we get to the pages. But I want you on video again. So the moment they, yeah. they see your Facebook video ad, they click learn more, they download your seller guide, they click send me my guide now, they go to a thank you page, that's gonna be Scott on video. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide. I just sent you an email with your link to download the PDF right? I want, that could be an easy 30 second video that is powerful. So now I'm seeing him on a thank you video. He's just telling, he's telling me, thank you. He's telling me to check my emails. He's telling me that he's going to be sending more emails coming my way. And he's doing that in a video. Then as my emails start coming out to them, they're seeing me in video again. It's like, dude, when you have hundreds of people in your local area that keep seeing you in a freaking video, that's powerful. Yeah. So, so don't let me read your boring text-based email. Explain that to me in a simple video and, and, and you'll even have me more indoctrinated with what you're doing, you know? Okay. So, so that's what she's doing in this case is, yeah, there's a basic paragraph there. And then the red button takes you to her video where she's simply explaining a handful of tips in her video. That's powerful. And that's how, she, that's how it's set up on each email. Click here to watch my newest video. And when you click on that, um, it'll take you to a Karcher page where it's her simple little video that she's just talking about on video, what she would have wrote in a three pair in a three paragraph email. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so that's just, so all in this case, all you'll do is, is simply, you know, edit the text or you can choose a different template. Or if you click full templates right there at the top to the left, click on that again, go back. Yeah. And then if you scroll down, you got headline, you got text. You got content, you got images, you got buttons. So if you click on any of those um, buttons, headers, countdown, click on any of them. All this is, man, is, 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 is drag and drop. Like you just click on it, drag it over. Like this is the header. Or actually, this is, this is actually the footer. I don't know. Actually, I guess header. And, yeah, this is the header. So this could, this, watch, click on any of those. Go to the header, go to the header, click on any of those and just drag it over and just yeah. drop your block. Yeah. So you could build out your own, right? But here's the thing, as I mentioned, keep it as simple as possible, a header, a footer, because your social media icons are, are what's important. Like that's what you want to include for sure are these social media icons. And then you could just hover over it. If you edit, you'll add the link. If you exit out, you'll just exit out. Gotcha. So um, that right there. And, and here's, what, here's what you want to do. This is email number one. So what you want to do is, is create your template and then at the very, very bottom, you'll save it. And then that's the template you'll just use over and over and over. Gotcha. So it'll have the same look every time. Yeah. That's what you want too, man. You want your pages to have the same colors. You want your emails to be on the same template. That little simplicity in, in, in your branding goes a long way. Mm. You know, so, so in this, in this, this is just, you know, Put yourself in, in the shoes of the consumer. If I just downloaded a seller guide, I'm, I'm a homeowner. I'm interested in selling either now, either tomorrow, either next year, whatever. But I live in your area. I just clicked on your link. I downloaded your seller guide. I'm receiving my first email. What do I need to know? Email number two. I'm getting that in a couple of days. What do you want to tell me? What do I need to know? 
So again, I would just get your hands on a seller guide first, go through the seller guide and each email refer back to a specific page. Gotcha. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So I have a handful of seller guides that I can email you for sure. And you could just look at all of them and, and just, you know, get some, get some tips from, from each one, grab one, send one over to a Fiverr person and just have them rebrand it to you. Okay. Okay. So, I so that and kind of, I guess I got to come up with like kind of a logo and a color scheme for all this stuff. I mean, you, you can, a logo is not the most important. Like in your case, that could just be an EXP logo. Yeah. Okay. You know, it could for sure just be an EXP logo. Um, and then, and then, and then, um, yeah, those social media icons, if you hover over any of them, hover over it and just click on the pencil. Right. And then just put my link on there. There's your link right there. Yeah. Um, so that, that's all this really is, is just click, drag, drop, um, edit. And, 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 and again, the whole, the whole objective here is just to set up a handful of these that, that go out automatically. And, and again, we're going to put our calendar link. So if you scroll to the very bottom, um, and, and the calendar link, if you go the video route, so if you're like, okay, I'll make a video for each of these emails, that red button, boom, takes you straight to the, to, to your video. It would be on that video page where your calendar link would be. So again, instead of, as I, as I'm mentioning in the text, Hey John, and by the way, click the link below, it'll take you straight to my calendar. As I'm telling you that it's coming from a text based perspective the way she put it and the way I, I taught her how to put this is the fact that when I click on that red button, you're taking me to a page where it's a video. And in that video, you're telling me to click the button below to schedule a call. Gotcha. Yeah. And I sent you that page. So I sent you all of the pages. So you'll see which page that I'm referring to where it's a video. And then it's just a link right below it that takes you straight to her calendar. So I'd be saying that in, 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 in the actual video. Is click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. I can't wait to speak to you. Don't don't forget to check tomorrow's email. I have some great, amazing, great information coming your way. See you then. You know, so video, 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 man. Short video, not nothing crazy long. Simple. You know, so um, creating the right template. That's what you want to do for sure. Just whatever you know floats your boat. Color, um, the social media icons, whatever. Um, but that's how you, that, this is where you would edit the email. And this is, this is email number one. And then you'll just click on, once you're done, again, start with email number one. Once you have that template, save it. And if you click on um, design templates to the, actually go back to the score to the top to the left, right where it says hero sections, call to action, score to the top of that. Like see if you uh, um, oh, go gotcha. back to the top. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. If you click on my templates, once you save it, this is where it would be. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So if you click on that. There's nothing in there now. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's nothing there. So it'll be right there, and all you're going to do is click and drag it for email number two. Yeah. Email okay. number three, email number four. Okay, and then also what I, what I use a lot is I always call out people by their first name. So dynamic variables is where – click on dynamic variables to the left. That's where you'll, um, you'll be able to copy and paste first name. So if you scroll to the top of this part right here, go to the top right there, first name. So I'll copy that first name and then paste it anywhere inside of my email. I could do it inside the email. I can do it in the subject line. Hey, John, thank you so much for downloading your seller guide. Open this email now, right? Like, so I could put their first name anywhere. Yeah. Subject line in the email. And I tend to use that a lot, their first name. Okay. So um, that is the email and you'll just kind of, this is, and, and that's why I tell people all the time when, when, when now that we're on this back end part, this is the most important, the Facebook ad, that's one thing, but after they click on the damn ad, what happens next? That's the most important. This is all of the next. And this part will be a little time consuming. Um, but on the bright side, it's a one-time thing. You knock out all this stuff one time and the machine is just ready to be oiled. Now you just, now you just pour the freaking, the, the gas, you know, to the fire. And that's with a weekly Facebook ad. Once you take care of all this back end, it just comes down to that weekly Facebook ad, filling up the funnel and getting thousands of people to see that ad every week. So we can get hundreds of them on this back end, receiving daily emails from Scott, clicking on the link, scheduling calls, automated. 
So yeah. what I'm saying is that this back end part may take you a little while um, to edit and set up, but um, I truly believe you can get all this done within this 14 day trial, even though I know you have a crazy busy work schedule ahead of you, but if you can fit in any time, I, I, I believe you can still get it done within this 14 day trial. Yeah. You know, okay. knock out, knock out the email and then knock out the pages. And in this yeah. case, we can just start with the seller guide, you know? Let me ask you too. So you, so you're going to send me a seller guide. I got to, got to work that, get it customized for, through Fiverr. I got I to gotta get into Kartra and kind of set up some of these emails to kind of get the drip campaign set up. So mm -hmm. it's ready. Mm -hmm. And then, um, that first intro video that I did on Facebook was, is actually already a couple weeks old. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. did I relaunch that again? No. Uh, to try to capture new, uh, people or uh, I don't, I don't want to, I know I don't want to resend it to the same people, but, um, just because it's been like a gap of time. Yeah. You don't need to now, now you already have a few thousand people that watched it. So yeah. now it's just time to set up a custom audience and retarget all those who've seen it with ad number two. Okay. And ad number two, now we're no longer going for views, now we're going for conversions. That's a whole nother Facebook ad, which I'll walk you through. But now we're going for conversions, and conversions is lead capture. That's where all, yeah, this is all gonna be set up for that. Yes. So that when this is, that when, when this is all ready to go, sell guys ready to go and everything, you know, then we can go ahead and set that Facebook ad to start. And that way when people click oh, yeah. it and they'll funnel right into this system. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yep. Okay. But, but all I'm saying is, is yeah, this back end part, it may, it may take a little while again, depending on someone's schedule. It sounds like you're going to be busy for the next 45 days. But yeah. I, I, I'll work, I'll work on it though. Yeah. Just work on it, work on it over the next couple of weeks. And, and I just truly believe this is more important than launching ad number two right now. Okay. Like, let's get this part done. So, right. um, once that email is done, then you'll click edit or you can click edit now, but click edit. And then, and then that that's saved and that's email number one. And then you just go on to email number two and so on and so on. And then, okay. and then it's going to bring you back to the dashboard of that specific email. Um, and then all you'll do is just click close at the top and that's, and that's that. And make sure that once you do anything to these emails, that first one is, 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 is saved to a certain extent. Okay. But if you, if you X out of this page, it's, it's gone. So what you always want to do, some people will, will, will stay here and they'll just let it idle, right? Like you never want to do that. You always want to hit the done and exit. So it fully saves. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. So you're good. Okay. So that, that's the sequence that's considered an asset. So that's your sequence right there. Let's do this real quick. Let's um, click on my pages to the left. So we went to my communications. Now we're on my pages. So okay. in my pages, you should have the, the landing page. So if you scroll down a bit, you have two different landing pages. I sent you opt-in one and opt-in two. And all it is is a difference in the headline. I just changed up a headline. The headline, like if you click on it, go ahead and click on it. One says, um, sell your home fast. Like this one says download your, and you can change all that too. I mean, this is just a template. Like you sure. can change the image, yeah, okay. you can change all that stuff. Um, but it's just an idea, but this one's sell, selling your home fast. And then the other template, I think it says your, um, um, 10 tips or something like that. Click on the other one, X out of this one and open up the other one. Yeah. This one's 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Okay. So, um, you could for sure reward those, um, but those are, these are all assets. So each one is its own individual asset. So exit of that. So I sent you the two landing pages and then the thank you page. So that's what I was saying. So click on that. Thank you page. Right, Seller one? guide. Thank you right yeah. there. So right when I go to your landing page, I opt in, I put my name and email, send me your seller guide. Now I'm then taken to this page. This is the thank you page. This is where you're going to be on video. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide. My name is Scott. Let me give you a little bit of background of what, what to expect. But here, here, here are four things that I want you to touch on. Do you have anything to write with or do you have anything to type with or yeah. Yeah. let me, uh, or you could just type it into your computer. Like do you have a note notepad on your computer? Yeah. Or something? Here, here yeah. are four things you want to touch on, on this short 60 second video that you can shoot from your cell phone. Let me know when you're ready. Um, this is for the thank you page. Yeah. Thank you page. These are going to be the four bullet points to touch on. Okay. Okay. Point number one is obviously thanking them. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide. Like that's number one. It's it's its own bullet point. It's that important because a lot of times we'll forget. Number one is thank you. Thank you for downloading my seller guide. Number two is introducing yourself. Simple introduction. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide. My name is Scott Myers. I'm with eXp Realty. It's just a simple intro. That's number two, introducing yourself. And then number three is telling them to check their email. I just sent you an email with a link to download your PDF. You're going to begin that right away. So make sure you check your email. Sometimes it may land in spam. So just check there the title of the email. And that's what you'll tell them. So this is point number three is I'm telling you to check your email and, and, and just make sure it doesn't land in junk or anything like that. And, and make sure you look for the tip, look for the title. And right there below, you'll see number two, open our email. And, and right there where it says subject line, it says 10 tips. You'll go in there and edit that. So whatever you want to title that, that's what I would say in bullet point number three. Look okay. for my email. I titled it 2020 Seller Guide by Scott Myers or whatever. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's bullet point number three. Tell them that, to check their email and then also let them know this is all still part of, of, of bullet, bullet three. Also let them know, say, hey, guys, and by the way, I have a ton of great emails coming your way. So make sure you open up every single one of them. I'm going to be teaching you the top strategies that I consult clients with when it comes to selling their property in 2020. So make sure you check all my emails that I got, that I got coming your way. You're not going to miss, you're not going to want to miss any of them. So I'm all saying that in, in bullet, bullet point number three, check the email cause I just sent it to you, but also check my future emails cause you're not going to want to miss out. And then number four is click the button to schedule a call. And Hey guys, by the way, I got some clients that are, super fired up and excited to sell now. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me and would like, and if you'd like to jump on a call today or tomorrow or anytime soon, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So that's bullet point. Number four is to schedule a call. Number one, thank you. Number two, introducing yourself. Number three, check your emails. Number four, schedule a call. That could all be said in a 60 second video that you shoot from your phone. So that video would go right there. That's the thank you page. Um, and this page right here is going to be very, very important when we set up your Facebook ads. Facebook needs to know about this page. So as we go and run conversion ads, which are designed to capture leads, we're going to set this page up as what Facebook calls a custom conversion. And we'll get into that on our, on our next call. But um, X out of this. So you got the thank you page. And again, all that can be changed, man. It's just the template. But um, the thank you page, and then as they click the button, scroll down just a bit, as they click the button and schedule a call, whether it's on your thank you page or whether it's on any of the emails, if you look above, sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, sequence four, those are all independent pages. Click on any of them. Those are all, so, so if, you, if you remember a couple minutes ago, in, her, in the email, there was that red button Click here to see my latest video or whatever she put. When you click on that red button in the email, it takes you here. So this is its own page, and that's where she's on it for 30 seconds telling whatever the hell she would have wrote in that email. But she's doing it in video, and at the end of that video, she's saying, hey, let's jump on a call. Click the yellow button. It'll take you straight to my, you know, my calendar. Um, and so if you, if you exit of this, when they schedule a call, so if they click on that yellow button, and they schedule a call, they land on a call confirm page. Gotcha. And that's that call confirmed. Mm -hmm. And so now as we dive into Facebook ads, each page is very important for Facebook advertising. Because as we go and run Facebook ads, Facebook needs to know who's landing on your landing page. Facebook needs to know who landed on your thank you page. Facebook needs to know who landed on your call confirm page. And the reason why they wanna know that, or the reason why we want them to know it, which we'll set it all, all up, is because as you go and run weekly ads, you're gonna start creating custom audiences of everyone who, who's, who lands on these specific pages. So for example, if you're running an ad to me and I click on your landing page, I opt in and then I land on your thank you page, that means I downloaded your seller guide. When you go run your next future ads, you better make sure you exclude me from right. ever seeing another ad. Right. And you do that by creating audiences of everyone who's landing. So we'll create an audience of everyone who lands on the thank you page. Those right. inside of your ads manager, inside of Facebook, those will be called 
leads. So now as we go and run ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, we'll now be able to exclude leads. So therefore they don't keep seeing the same ad and same with the call confirmed. If, 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 if I got someone to that page, that means they've already downloaded my seller guide. So I need to tell Facebook, hey man, whoever lands on this call confirm page, make sure I exclude them from ever seeing another ad. So that helps you with your Facebook ad cost so people don't keep seeing the same ad that have already opted in. Make sense? It doesn't frustrate them either, yeah. Yeah, so, so that, that, that right there is super, super important. And then, um, and so that's what you have here. You have all these pages, opt-in page, the thank you page, the call confirm page, and then five pages for the emails. And, and here's what you can always do as well. If you click on the three dots, you can always clone a page. And that's all I did with email sequence one through five is I set up sequence one and then I cloned it gotcha. and then I named it sequence two. And then yeah. I cloned it again, sequence three, cloned it again. So once you create a page, just like the email template, once you create that template, you can use it over and over and over. Once you save the template, you can use it over and over and over. With pages, you can clone any one of them and use it over and over and over. Okay. And obviously, you just put a new video in this case. You know, I mean, put a new video, change out the headline, but at least the whole page. I don't got to recreate the whole damn page. I can just clone it. Yeah. You know, so that's what, that's what I did here is I, I cloned it. And so similar to the email where all you're doing is clicking and dragging over and dropping. It's the same thing with, with building these pages. So let's open up a page really quick. Let's go to, um, yeah, open up any, any one of them. Um, click on the three dots and then go to edit. So here's what I'll, I'll kind of walk you through. And here's what you want to do. Let's create a category. So the category, yeah, you'll take away an initial. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, but this will be an, a page for the emails. But the category, I want you to start creating categories. So as you start to, as you start to um, build out these different projects is what I call them. This is seller guide project. We're going to have other pages, which are for listings. That's our listing project. Another one for maybe an open house. That's our open house category project. So, so as you start to build out these different projects, you want to categorize everything. So in this case, what we'll do is um, click out of this, click out, of, click out of the category. No, not, no, no, not there. Just click. Hey, hang on. Just um, what I wanted you to do is click on, click on edit and then just, we'll start building a, a, a category. So manage my categories right there at the bottom or in the middle, I should say middle manage my categories. Oh, hang on. I see it. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll create a different category. So go to name it. Let's call this one seller guide, seller guide funnel. Cause that's, that's exactly what it is. Or you can, you know, name it whatever you want, but that's, that's now. So all of these pages right now are in the shared funnel category because that's how it came over it came over from my category which i named shared funnels um but now that it's in your funnel or now that it's in your account you'll want to kind of get now more specific all these pages are now going to go in the seller guide funnel so you don't have to you don't have to worry about the shared funnel right now actually you know what let's just go ahead and exit out go ahead and exit exit out let's get rid of that category and 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 these these specific pages are all going to go into yeah go ahead and delete or all going to go into the yeah. seller guide Category. Okay. Click done. Okay. Gotcha. And then it'll bring you back where you'll have to hit the drop down and choose that category. Perfect. So it just makes it easier to see and e easier to find once you create a ton of different projects. So now we go into the page and this is the builder. So this is where all the magic happens and I'll kind of walk you through how I, how I set it up and similar to the email one you'll go through and don't click the, yeah, click next, 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 but don't click the dot at the end or the, um, the circle or whatever. It's that way you can read all this later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're in the builder. The very first thing, and this is a good habit to kind of get in the ha get in the, get in the, get in the habit of. Um, anytime you come into a new page, what I always do is I'll always click on settings to the left. Like this is the first thing I do, and I'll change if needed. I'll change the title 
in the tab. So click on settings right there to the top to the left. Uh, yeah. Right there. Perfect. SEO parameters. This is the title that they see in the tab. So just like here on your, on your tab, it says Kartra. If you open up another tab, if you hit the plus sign, open up another tab, whatever website you go to, there's a title in that tab. This is where you name your title. Okay. So um, this could be titled negotiations. This could be titled whatever the hell, but that's what the public sees when they're on that page. So I don't want them to see email sequence four, right? right. That's what I named my page internally. And by default, it's in the title as well. So I always have to get in the habit of making sure I change that right away because I don't want to build out the page, make it go live, start sharing it. And then it says freaking email sequence more. You know what I mean? It's stupid. So right. I always want to make sure I, 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 I title that to whatever the page, you know, consists of and, 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 and something short, you know, just a simple description, nothing crazy long, but that's what they see. So I want to make sure that, that, that says something cool. And then, um, only for the landing page, only for the landing page, not, none of these other pages, these are pages that are all going to be in emails. So this is not what I'm, you know, advertising. It's really just the landing page where if you scroll down here in the settings, here in the SEO parameters, if you scroll down that image right there, click on that. This is the image that they would see that anybody would see if you were to go and share this link on social media. The only link you'll ever share on social media is your landing page. Like you'll never share this one page um, at all. Now, if a lead is in your system and a lead sees this page, let's say I was an, let's say I was a homeowner and, and, and I'm getting your emails and my cousin, he's also looking to sell. If this video and if this page gave me a ton of great information, I could possibly share this with him. If I'm super fired up and I like Scott and this is email number four and I just think that everything you said in the damn video was freaking amazing, I could possibly take this page and go and share it on social media. Hey guys, take a look at my friend Scott. You'll never believe what he said in this video. Click here. And I can share. Anybody is going to be able to share this link. So I guess a good habit is to make sure that there's an image on every page. And this is where you would, this is where you would do it. So watch, let me give an example, open up a tab, open up a tab and go yeah. to Facebook. And this applies to Facebook, LinkedIn. Yeah. You can just open up that plus sign at the top. Yeah. Go to Facebook right here. This applies to Facebook, to LinkedIn, to Twitter. So it's really just social media. What I'm referring to on, on, on how important this image is. So if you go, if you go into Facebook, go to the, yeah, right here in the home. Right there, what's on your mind? Just, um, oh, they just updated you right now, huh? Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is a, yeah. I kind of hate this new version, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so if you go to the very top, like as if you're going to post something, just do it for the hell of it, but don't post it. But in that, what's on your mind, as if you're going to post down? I don't know where that is supposed to be, this? No, below, below. What's like, go and post. Oh, like, gotcha. Yeah, oh, right yeah. there. Watch, type in, type in HTTPS. And then the semicolon forward slash www dot the social real estate agent, the social real estate agent dot com. And then hit enter. Don't post, but just hit enter. This image is what I'm referring to. I got you. So, so not only whenever you share a link on social media, not only does the image pop up, but if you scroll down, look, the social real estate agent.com, the social real estate agent, how to build your personal brand and attract new clients. That information, go back to the Kartra page. That information is, is so cancel out of that. Yeah. That information is right here. So title description, mm. your name, that's that information. But again, it's only Filling out all that is kind of is kind of only important for the landing page. Very rarely are people going to share these other pages. I just yeah. want to make sure my landing page. If anyone shares that landing page, which hopefully they do, and 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 maybe you'll even share that landing page on social media. You just want some good information to show up as it it pulls, as Facebook pulls that information. You know, so so having an image, 
is, is, is a good idea on all these pages. But the description, the title, all that may, may be just for the landing page, not for every, because you don't, you don't got to do that for every page. But uh -huh. having an image for every page is a good idea. Okay, and then anytime you update anything, always click apply right there, the, the green button. Yeah, click apply. Oh, that's weird. And then, and then that's, that's that. But if you X out of that, yeah, apply. And then if you X out of that and you just kind of hover over anything, like let's X out of that, that um, the, the SEO parameters to the left, just X out of that part. Yeah, just, so we'll go over tracking code when we, get on, when we go back over Facebook. But go ahead and X out of this part. Yeah, X out, perfect. So if you hover over anything, the, the yellow button, like hover over the button, there's the pencil. So I can exit out and I can delete it. I can clone it and make another button or I can edit, change the color, change the little, the little calendar icon. I can change the text. Gotcha. So everything is very simple, man. I, I truly believe it's, it's simple. Once you get the hang of it, you can change the color. You can change um, where, it, where it goes. So when people click on it, where are they going? You know, that in this case, if you click on it, it's going to your calendar. Yeah. And so on this specific page, that's how I would keep it. These are pages that are going to go out in my emails. The only button I care to have people click on is my calendar. So, so, and then scroll down and then you can put a, a in fact, there's your EXP logo right there. Yeah. And then those social media icons, you want to, you want to change all that as well. And then here's, a, here's another thing too. If you look to the right, there's that red will. Yeah. This is the bottom part. So on each page, each page is pretty much in blocks. This bottom part is the footer. That's one block. The top is the video. That's one block. So when it comes to these pages, what I normally do is I'll save certain blocks. If I know I'm going to use that same block over and over and over and over. Okay. So in this okay. case, I'll keep the footer. So I'll heart it, go ahead and push, push the heart right there below the number two, and then it'll save it. So now I can use that same footer for my next page. But what I'll do first, you all, and so this is just like saving the email template, same thing. So now if you click on, click on, I think it's sections to the left, it might be sections or components. And those are really the only two that you'll be in, sections and components. So the, at the very top, you got favorite blocks, and then boom, there goes your block. So you can yeah. click it, drag it over, and drop it, and there's your footer. And you can do the but same. I, gotta, I guess I got to really uh, – does that save the links that are embedded in all exactly. these Exactly. Exactly. So that's why you want to update it first and then save okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Great okay. question. Yeah, so update all those links first and then save. Change out the copyright, put your name, and then yeah. save. Um, and that's it. And, and that's – and, 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 and so, as I mentioned earlier, you, you want to kind of keep everything consistent. And that goes for the footer on your pages. Okay. And, and those, those, let me put this, let me say this as well. The footer, having these social media icons, I only put this footer on every page except for the landing page. So you don't need the, if you notice, this is, this is, this is an email page, right? But on the thank you page, it's the same footer, but that footer is not on the landing page. So when it comes to the landing page, there's only one button and that's to opt in. Right. That's to opt in to download your seller guide. I don't need you on my YouTube. I don't need you going to my Twitter. None of that right now. I need you clicking one button that's to download the seller guide. After you download the seller, after you download the seller guide, then I'll freaking invite you to my freaking living room. But until then, you're not clicking on anything, right? Yeah. So these footers are only on every other page, you know, other than the, the landing page. So, so now that we add or edit or delete or whatever, once we're ready to go live, then all you're going to do and live means just, just publishing it and making sure that, you know, it's, it's accessible now, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you're, it's, it's out there for anybody to find. No one's going to find that's another misconception. People think that because you have a website, people are going to find it online. No, they're not like at all at all, unless it's SEO, um, um, optimized, meaning that it's set up for Google, for people that are Googling to find, that's one way people are going to find your website. The second way people are going to find your website is if you're running ads. If you're not doing either, either of those two, just because you have a website, no one's finding it. 
So when you take these pages live, don't worry about it not being updated or fully, you know, done. No one's finding it. Like no one's, no one's just Googling it and coming to this page. You know what I mean? So I say that because what's that? I'm sorry. I, did, I don't, I don't want to cut it short, but at the same time, I, I'm going to have to get off the phone because I got to go soon. Yes. Yes. I, I do too. Actually click on the green button and just save progress. Let me show you how to exit a page successfully. Click okay. on the green button. Yes. Click on save progress mm -hmm. and then X out and then publish live. That's what you'll be doing on all your pages. Hit the green button again, publish live. So it's kind of a to save type of exit. You're going to always say progress. You're going to publish live and then you're going to return to dashboard. So close it, hit the green button one more time and then return to dashboard. That's how you exit the page. So hit the green button again in the top right and yeah. then just return to dashboard. So always make sure you're publishing live and then return to dashboard. And then just let me know. and We'll chat again this week, man. So I can, I can walk you th through my okay. forms, through my videos, through my calendar. That's what's next. Okay. I've but play around with it also. And then you know what? One last thing. Go to make sure you let me send you this link really, really quick. If you if you did not, um, did you register for our weekly for the weekly QA? Uh no. I'll, I'll, I'll Facebook to you. I'll Facebook to you. Try to register. Even if you can't make the trainings live, they send the replay. Okay. So okay. these one okay. hour Karcher calls, you'll learn a ton, man. You'll learn a ton. So register for that. I'll Facebook it to you right now. And okay. then just email me and we'll chat this week. Okay. That sounds good. How late do you, uh, what's your latest appointment? Cause I, I have got some other training I've got to do for the national guard. And I won't be done to like six o'clock. We could do that, man. Jump. We'll jump on whenever. Let me know. Okay. All right. All right. I'll send you an email with times. Sounds good. All right, brother. Stay safe, man. Talk hey, to you soon. So much. Take, thanks man. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.